welcome to Knit and Kitten episode 13. Oh my gosh, I've been doing Vlogmas for so long that I don't remember how, how I start this. Hi! Welcome to the Knit and Kitten podcast, episode number 13. My name is Mallory, otherwise known as Just a Dose of Love all around the internet, so you can find me on Instagram, Reddit, Facebook, Ravelry, and Twitter under Just a Dose of Love although I'm absolutely most active on Instagram. I am filming here in Edmonton where I live with my feline Zasika. I don't know if you can see her here or not. Maybe you just see like her tail moving the curtains. Um, Chris Connor and a snake named Heidi who's hanging out outside of her hide today and uh, just kind of slithering around in her cage so that's interesting. Um, I'm not really a fan of snakes honestly and uh, there's Heidi, she's the six foot ball python that sits under our TV. Yes, anyways, what are we talking about today? I guess I should tell you, uh, the Knit and Kitten podcast is a podcast about knitting and yarn and crafts and kind of whatever else I happen to be up to at that time. So we're just going to get right into it. I know it's been a while and I'm out of practice, but... I guess we're going to talk about what's on my needles. So what's on my needles, I'm working on the second sock for the, uh, the second, yeah, the second sock of the Stella Bella. That's completely wrong. That is way wrong. Wow. Where did these notes come from? Herm. That sucks. It's the Porsche Poppy sock by Kimiko. And it is in her Sweet Child of Mine series. And I am knitting it in the Pumpkin Spice Latte colorway. I'm doing this without my notes, so I'm sorry if it's... I'll have the notes down below in the description with the actual... The actual notes um, after this episode. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, this is embarrassing. Anyways, yes, I'm pretty sure it's in the Pumpkin Spice Latte colorway by... Oh, I don't remember. It was a lady that I found on Etsy, and I really love the way that it's knit up, uh, and I'll just show it to you. So, I have just started my heel flap, so I've moved over to my DPN for the heel flap, and here is the sock. So I finished up the first sock um, of the test knit for Kimiko and now I'm just making its pair. And you can see it's got this textured, um, it's like a, a knit pearl pattern and it's got, it kind of makes me think of the waffle stitch but that's not really what it is. But it's just got that nice texture and it's nice and thick material. This is for my mom for her Christmas present and she doesn't like lacy socks or socks with holes in them um, because her feet get cold. So I think this is going to be absolutely perfect. And then on the back it's got this cute little single cable that just runs all the way down and I think it's absolutely adorable. I think it is the cutest thing. She also had a, a bigger cable on her Stella Bella Honey sock pattern. Um, none of these are released yet, by the way, she was going, she's going to be releasing all of the socks in her Sweet Child of Mine series at the same time. But if you'd like to see what the Stella Bella Honey Sock looks like, I think I showed it in my last podcast. If not, it would be in the one before that. Anyways, here it is. And I have not done very much knitting this week. This is the only knitting I've done <laughs> since last podcast, actually. And most of it, I'm ashamed to say, was in the last couple days. It's, yes, I have been not very good at the knitting, which is unfortunate because I have all of this Christmas knitting that needs to be done. And I don't know if I'm going to get it done in time. Oi, the struggle is real. I have never really aimed to make a, like more than one person knit wear for Christmas. And now I have three that I'm knitting for. One's done. Um, my mom, I'm half done, and then my grandpa I haven't started yet. But I did get the yarn, so that's a step in the right direction. 
I haven't wound it up yet, so we're still like at step one. Step two will be getting it into a ball. Yep. I'm sorry, I'm such a scatterbrain tonight. It's, I guess I didn't tell you what time it is or what day it is. It is December 14th, it's Friday. And thank goodness it's Friday. It feels like it's been a very long week. And it's probably about 11 o'clock by now. Yep, 10.55. I got a little bit distracted watching Dumplin'. It's a movie on YouTube. YouTube. Netflix. And I procrastinated a little bit. Uh, you know, getting everything set up and recording. And uh, now we're here. Sorry about that. This is going to be a subpar podcast. Hmm. Well, good thing we're in the middle of Vlogmas, right? <laughs> yes. I'm not drinking anything tonight other than water. I'm feeling a little dehydrated still. So, just trying to get that hydration back up. I know I'm dehydrated when, and this happens often when I'm not drinking enough water. I have dreams about being really thirsty and drinking cups and cups and cups of water and it is the most delicious thing I have ever had. It is like perfect, exactly what I need. And I had one of those dreams last night. So, water it is. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm still working on my unnamed hat. I didn't do anything on it in the last two weeks. I guess I will go show it to you though, just in case you didn't see last episode. So just hang on. It's like right here. Okay. So, unnamed hat. It's not even in a project bag right now. And it's in the Eden Amoral Fiber by Handmaiden. So it's a exclusive to my local yarn store, River City Knits. And it's called Mount Tabor. So it's a worsted. And it's a funny blend of 81, 9, and 10 merino cashmere nylon. So 81% merino, 9% cashmere, 10% nylon. Yes. All right. So it's got these cute little cables that are going to just start getting into some Celtic knots over here and here. And then a little bit of a crisscrossy, Celtic-y knot type thing over on this side. And there's, you know, there's this, and then there's the same thing exactly on the other side, and then there's this, and it's exactly on this side. So it's going to be two repeats, and I, I think it's going to turn out really nice. I'm a little worried that the cables aren't going to stand out very well with so much variegation in the yarn, but I do really like the yarn colors as well. So I'm loving the like light, light oranges, the yellows, the greens, and how well they all go together. Yeah, so that's going to be something I'm not working on until after Christmas knitting is done. Oh gosh, this is coming apart now. Ah, okay. Yeah, so I'm not going to be working on that until Christmas knitting is done, so I'm probably not going to be finishing this until the new year for sure. Our family Christmas this year. So I'm not from Edmonton, I'm from High Prairie. And we usually go back home to High Prairie for the big family Christmas. And this year it's not on Christmas, it's on the 29th. So that means I get a whole extra four days of knitting, which means I might actually finish everything. Not for Christmas, but for family Christmas, and that's all that matters. <laughs> it's going to be great. It's going to be fine. It's going to be great. I have to start wrapping my Christmas presents. I am actually terrible at wrapping presents though. I, yeah, <laughs> I'm just really, really bad at it. It's not a skill that I've ever really possessed, wrapping things in wrapping paper. I'm a fan of the like dollar store boxes that look nice and bags. Yep, bags and tissue paper. And they look pretty. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just less fun to like rip open on Christmas morning. Okay, upcoming. The Farmer's Daughter Sock is going to be releasing on December 21st. Yeah, so 
next Friday that'll be releasing. It'll be on Ravelry. And I'll be posting some stuff on Instagram with photos, you know, kind of like a release photo, FYI. So if you'd like to see what it looks like, or it looks like if you haven't seen what it looks like yet, just keep an eye out on there. That should be within the next few days. So it's awesome. I will get to nine patterns published this year. I think that's what it was. I had a goal of 18. Nope, I'll get to eight patterns published this year. Uh, if you've been, in, in, if you haven't been uh, watching the Vlogmas videos, I've been going over a 2018 goal and reflecting on how that went, and a 20 setting a 2019 goal for myself. And one of my goals had been to publish 18 patterns, which now I think may have been a little lofty, um, but. I will get eight. It will happen. Actually, since we're talking about goals, I may as well uh, tell you a little bit about Vlogmas. Um, I'm not going to like shove it down your throat though, and then I'm actually going to reflect on a goal from 2018 tonight and set a new one as well just to kind of keep the momentum going for myself on that one. So a 2018 goal was to participate in six knit-alongs. I only did two, I think. It's 33%. So I only got to 33% of that goal. And I'm kind of okay with that. I got caught up doing a lot of other knitting things, um, working on some patterns and doing some test knits, and I'm, I'm okay with that. I am going to reset that goal again though for 2019 because I would like to get a little more involved in the knitting community. I feel like I'm kind of to the point where I'm a little less less shy and ready to kind of dip my toes in and yeah, just get a little more involved. So I am going to reset that. I will do, I will try my best to participate and complete six knit-alongs in 2019, and I think we can do it. We, we can do it. We can do it. Yes. Um, just to, yeah, gloss over Vlogmas, I am posting one podcast or Vlogmas video per day from December 1st to December 25th. Each one is going to be at least 10 minutes long, and it's going to touch on the holiday season in some way. Um, since today is a podcast, I'm not really, I don't really have anything Christmassy or holiday like to talk about, I guess except for family Christmas, but I don't really know if that counts. Uh, yeah. So there's that. I didn't finish any projects in the last two weeks. I did make a gingerbread house. That was kind of neat. It's not finished yet, still. I need to be finished decorating it, and then I need to figure out what I'm going to do with it. I don't know how long gingerbread stays good for, and, you know, if it'll make it to family Christmas, I think that would be neat to bring, but does anyone want, like, three-week-old gingerbread? I don't know. Is that a thing? Does it go bad? I don't know. Some input would be great, because I, I don't even know. Yep. Made a gingerbread house, that was cool. Uh, people keep saying, like, you made a gingerbread house? Like the gingerbread? Yes, I did actually make the gingerbread as well. I did not buy a kit. I made the gingerbread from scratch, and I am decorating it. So, yeah, I'm rather proud of myself, actually. I chilled it for the whole two hours and everything, and I made pumpkin cookies in between. Oh yeah, it was great. Stash enhancement. I do have some new squishies to show you. The day after last podcast, my yarn that I ordered from What's Up Yarn Co. came in. And first of all, let me just point out, I don't like to show you this, she always sends along a cute little progress keeper. And this one has bells, like Christmas bells, and I hope it's going to focus well enough for you to see. I'm just hoping it stays still. Okay. So, yeah, it's got cute little Christmas bells, and I think it's adorable. So thanks, Amy. Um, yeah. And... Yeah. You know what? My favorite Christmas song is the Carol of the Bells. 
So that's kind of what that makes me think of. That, that is not a Christmas song I would mind hearing, actually. Anyways, I ordered... Um, I'll just show them to you. So here's the first one. It's the She's Fierce colorway, and it's in her stout worsted bait. Uh, oh my gosh. Words. It is in her stout worsted base, which is 100% superwash merino. And here it is. So it's got like, it's almost, I would almost call it a salmon. In some lights it looks more orange and in some lights it looks more pink. But here it is. So it's got those salmon-y colors and then some pinks. And it does have little orange bits. Yeah, it does have little orange bits for sure. And there's some like blue, pink flecks. It's got those purple bits. So these flashes of purple. Um, those blue flecks there. And I 100% bought this to make myself a hat. Yeah. I've become pretty partial to pink <laughs> over the last couple years, and I'm not sure where that came from. But yeah, I've become partial to pink, and this is going to be all mine on my head. Kind of like that. Okay. And then I also got this one. So it's on her Dreamcatcher, in her Dreamcatcher colorway on the worsted base again. Stout worsted. And let me just. Okay, so I've been eyeing this one up for a while. Purples and blues and like almost some brownie colors in there. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I just have this problem where I... I'm not going to call it a problem. Stash enhancement is not a problem. It's just a symptom of liking yarn too much. It's not even too much. It's just a symptom of liking yarn and having too much creativity and not enough time. That's, we're just gonna leave it at that. That's what that is. And then, I went to my local yarn store, the Fiverr Nook, a couple times and I, well, I did some selfish buying of my own. I went to get my grandpa some sock yarn. That was the, oh, I guess I didn't have it to show you. Mm, darn. Um, it's way over there. I'm not going to go grab it right now. I will show you next podcast, hopefully. Oh, wow, we're at the 20 mark. <sighs> yarn. Yarn and buying yarn. So I went to the fiber nook to grab some yarn for my grandpa's socks, which I will show you next podcast, I think. When is next podcast going to be? Wow, right before family Christmas. So hopefully Grandpa's socks are going to be done. And then I can show you what it looks like when it's knit up. And I will tell you what it is then. <laughs> I'm sorry for being so ill-prepared. I, I thought I had it all together. And apparently I didn't. Hmm. And, and here I was worried I wasn't going to have enough to talk about. Because I've been doing Vlogmas. And talking about things as they happen every day. But no, it's been 20 minutes already. How did that happen? Anyways, selfish buying. Selfish buying of the yarn. I, yes, I saw this. <laughs> and you probably know by now I really like oranges and reds. And, um, well, look. It's orangey and red. It's gorgeous. And it's got, like, flecks of black. Oh, I love those orange flecks so much. This is also going to be a Mallory hat someday, someday soon I hope. I'm going to have so many hats. <laughs> and I'm not even I'm not even mad about that. I love hats. I've always loved tubes. And now I can make them myself and it's great. Um right, I guess I should tell you who this is. This is Comfy Cozy Knits and it's on her woolly worsted base. So that's 100% superwash merino and it's the maple walnut colorway. And the other one I got is also Comfy Cozy Knits, also on the Wooly Worsted, still 100% Superwash Merino. And it's called Draw From The Void. And I hope the colors show up good here, because she did, uh, I, they did cake it, and I know the, um, it's 
it's not that it's more difficult to see the colors when it's caked, but they just are a little harder to discern from one another because it's such a, like, wah of um, colors. Oh no. Eee. Man, I almost feel like I had a cup of coffee before I started this, but I didn't. That's the thing. I didn't. Anyways, here it is. So it's got um, purples and blues on this gorgeous, like, stormy gray undertones. And also going to be a hat. I, yeah, I just fell in love with this. So, yeah. And they were nice enough to cake it up for me. I'd almost call that like a dark turquoise. Definitely gorgeous though. I love the color combinations and how they go together. Yeah, and that's actually about it. I hung out with my friend Max today. We're both from the same town. We grew up in High Prairie together. And he gave me a bottle of wine. Um, Shady Orchard and Winery. So that's, it's neat because they're actually from the High Prairie area. Oh, look at that. Shady Orchard and Winery, High Prairie, Alberta. Yeah. And I think this is going to be the first time I've tried it. I've heard some really good things about it. And I just think it's really neat that there's a winery and orchard where I grew up because we live in the prairies. Like, it's not fruit country. You don't grow fruit there. You grow wheat and barley and canola. Not fruit. We don't even have a long enough growing season for corn. Not really. You have to like start it inside. And... Yeah, anyways, they have an orchard and winery. And this is the strawberry. And I'm looking forward to trying that. My company Christmas party is tomorrow, so maybe I will bring it along. Yeah, I think that'll be neat. Connor's gonna be my date. It's gonna be good. Yeah, it'll be a good time. They're doing the Secret Santa type, uh, no, not Secret Santa, more like a Chinese gift exchange. They call it Thieving Elves. And I bought this really unique looking teacup. It's, uh, it looks like it's three cups stacked on each other and it's got different Alice in Wonderland quotes on it. So, yeah, I like it, but I think it'll be good for that. Anyways, that's it. That's it, that's all that's really going on. If you um, would like to know what's kind of going on day to day, feel free to check out the Vlogmas episodes. I'm having a lot of fun doing them, not gonna lie. It's a lot of work, however, it's good. I'm, I'm wondering a little bit what I'm gonna do with all of the, the uh, energy that I've accumulated um, from doing this when it's done. It's, I, I hope it's not going to be like one of those things where it's like, oh, well, what do I do now? I don't know, because by that time, I'll basically be done my Christmas knitting too. I just, I'm not going to have any direction. What am I going to do? I'm sure I'll figure it out. It's just a little daunting to think about, because I know I'll, I'll hit that spot for a little while at least. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to cut it here. Um, I hope you... <laughs> didn't get driven too crazy by the crazy that was going on today. Sorry about that again. Um, yeah, you think you get everything down pat and uh, then you don't. Yep. Yeah, that's it. I, I had fun. Um, I hope you have a wonderful night. I will see you in two weeks at the next podcast episode. Or I will talk to you tomorrow. So sleep well, stay wonderful, stay safe. I will talk to you then. <laughs>